Mathematics, problem number 27 from the June 2014 Algebra Regents exam. Given this inequality we have here, what we need to do is determine the largest integer value of a when x equals negative 1. Now that's the important part there, because right now we have two unknown variables in this inequality, so we can't solve it, but we know that we're supposed to replace x with negative 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So instead of x here, we're going to write negative 1. And again, negative 1 here. And then now we just simply have to solve this inequality. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then negative 1 times a would be negative a, or negative 1a. Just like that. And minus 7 greater than negative 12. Next, we can combine uh, these two terms together. Uh, negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. So we have negative 9 minus a is greater than negative 12. And now I notice that every single term here is negative. So what I'm going to do to solve that is mu literally multiply everything times negative 1. But now I need to be careful to, by doing that, the inequality is going to switch to the other direction. Um, so it will become 9 plus a is less than positive 12. So everything that was negative is now positive. And that just makes things a little bit easier to deal with. And to isolate a compli completely, we're going to take away 9 from both sides. So we get that a is less than 3. Now if we were to uh, graph this inequality on a number line, let's do that really quickly here. Oh, that was horribly drawn. Okay, uh, so we'll have 3 here, 2, 1, 4, 5, okay. Uh, we're going to be drawing a hollow dot at 3 because the solution does not include the number 3, uh, but just everything less than it. So going this way. What we need to find is the largest integer value of a, and we can see that the, the largest uh, integer value is 2. It can't be 3 because that's not included, but 2 is. So a equals 2 would be our largest value. Alright, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.